Hello, my name is Randy. In this Treehouse Quick Tip, we're going to talk about the lamp stack. If you're unfamiliar with this term, I can assure you, it's quite different than a stack of lamps. A stack in this sense is a technology stack or a solution stack, a list of all the major components used to form a complete technology solution. The lamp stack is probably the most common stack used for hosting websites and web applications, especially among small to medium sized sites. LAMP is an acronym that stands for four major components. Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Each of these components are open source and free to use, which has helped contribute to their popularity. Let's look at how a typical web request works to see what each component does. A visitor to a website will enter a web address in a browser. This will send off a request to a web server. That web server will execute some code that generates an HTML file and sends it back to the visitor's browser. All the LAMP components are installed and running here on the web server. A server is a type of computer, and it needs an operating system. The L in LAMP stands for Linux, the operating system in this stack. You probably have Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS X running on your desktop computer, but Linux is incredibly popular for servers. The operating system provides a base foundation on which all the other components can run. The A stands for Apache, which is the web server software. It receives and handles all those requests from visitors. If someone requests index.html or lolcat.jpg, Apache looks on the server for the file and sends it back to the visitor's browser. Let's skip the M for a moment and look at the P, which usually stands for PHP. It could also stand for Perl or Python, though these are not as common. PHP is a programming language for generating dynamic web pages. When a visitor requests a PHP file, Apache won't just get that file and send it back to the browser like it does with HTML files or with images. Instead, it gives the file to PHP first. PHP executes the code in that file and generates the HTML for the web page. The HTML generated by PHP goes back to Apache and then back to the visitor's browser. The M stands for MySQL. This is a database engine used for storing a site's data. Often the data needed to generate a PHP file depends on who the visitor is, like their name or account number or order history. A database allows that data to persist over time. PHP retrieves that data from the database, uses it to generate the HTML for the page that then gets sent by Apache back to the visitor's browser. The LAMP stack is one of the more popular stacks for building websites and web applications, but it's of course not the only one. Windows-based websites often run IIS instead of Apache, SQL Server instead of MySQL, and ASP.NET instead of PHP. Applications running Java instead of PHP often use IBM's WebSphere or Oracle's WebLogic to handle web requests, and they often use Oracle's database engine for storing data. There are other popular open source programming languages like Ruby, Python, and Node.js, as well as other open source database engines like PostgreSQL, CouchDB, or MongoDB. You should now have a good idea of what the LAMP stack is and what all of its components do, and you shouldn't have any trouble distinguishing it from one of these.